Poultry farming in Kenya, if done the right way, can be a very rewarding business. The current poultry kept in Kenya is not even enough to sustain the rising demand of poultry products in Kenya. Over a very short period of time, the business has gained popularity and has become one of the most genuine ways of making ends meet. Poultry in Kenya is a rewarding business, a lucrative one for that matter. The rise of major restaurants, hotels, even schools that consume poultry products is a thing that farmers are rallying behind. There is never a shortage of demand for poultry products because Kenyans have really embraced the spirit and the willingness to be consumers of these products. Walk with me through the journey. Perhaps today might be your good day. So we are going to connect our incubator today. It's automatic mini incubator that accommodates 128 eggs. We are going to connect one of two chambers. Each of these two chambers accommodates 64 eggs, making a total of 128 eggs. This is what we call the base, and that's where water is usually so water is fed into the two chambers through these holes each hole feeding each of the two chambers so let's begin the process of assembling our today's incubator so that's the first chamber chamber number one We're going to explain each process. These are what we call rollers. Ideally, they are the ones that help in making eggs rotate because they have to be on motion all through. Yeah, so these are chambers. These, how easily they are fixed. It's a compartment that you can remove and fix afresh. Is how it looks from above so we're going to fix our chamber 2 once once more you can see the compartments can be removed and very easily fixed. So we're going to make sure that they are sleeping on each other in a fitting manner. Once you've fitted your rollers and everything is well set, those were rollers that we were fixing. Now, we're going to set up this gadget here. It's called humidifier. It's ideally meant to tell the level, rather to sense the level of humidity in this mini incubator. So we've fixed it. And then once you've set it down there, you have to make sure that its cable goes through that unit there in between the walls there's usually the space that's provided for the cable remember that cable is for from the humidifier and it's supposed to connect the two chambers this unit here is for connecting chamber one to chamber two such that all the chambers will be rotating together So we are as well going to bring that cable up here as well as, well as that of the humidifier and we link, we clip the that of rollers together such that the rollers are going to be served by 
from the same power source at the same time causing the rotation of the rollers to be at the same pace and now we have this upper part ideally this is the machine itself we have these two fans and we have these power jacks there's this white clip for rollers this white one is the one we, the black one we are going to fix with the white humidifier cable that small one is for temperature so we are almost done with the setting up so the humidity cable is going to fix to be fixed with that black one and the white one fixed to that other one and ideally would say that our first um, incubator is set so as we've said white will be will go to black and this clip will you can easily tell which go, one goes where because they are uniquely designed such that you can't confuse the two so we're going to put power to our machine the beauty with this machine is that you can use solar power and you can still use the electricity so we have this cable that's made for what using dc that's battery you just need to fix that cable to that um, pinhole there for today we're going to use electricity we'll be showing you later how to fix it with your battery we highly advocate that if you if possible use a fridge guard to make sure that your machine is safe from any electrocution whatsoever so we're going to fix our machine to the electricity power and then we fix our machine right there there's no way you're supposed to turn on or off for it to pick power it's automatic once you've switched on at the power source for our case the extension so we've got to wait for just a few seconds it's like click to turn on almost right away so putting on and off is usually from the extension here yeah, so here we go the our machine is already on our machine is already on you can see and now what you are seeing right now is our machine dashboard there is temperature there is humidity and there is t t time which is turning time and then days the days there shows how many days it will take for the specific eggs to take before they hatch and then there is humidity yeah and now so this machine can hatch chicken duck goose dove eggs yeah so if you look at this part or this dashboard you can see there's set there is plus cable rather uh button there's minus there's mode and there's one showing light sample symbol so once you've set everything you will pick which eggs that you are going to incubate in our machine can be chicken eggs dove eggs goose eggs any so whichever eggs that you're going to pick once you are you go to the mode part you click there for like a second or two then you release you can see here it's turned to c c shows that these chicken eggs you've picked c because uh we've put eggs for chicken if you don't want to hatch eggs for chicken it will go to you can pick whichever other bird you want to hatch the eggs for we have like duck d for duck if you want to go to another one maybe a goose let's say goose yeah that's a goose if you have goose eggs this machine can comfortably do the same you can still click again and you go to dove so you can still do dove eggs you can also do you can see this pigeon yeah 
so once you have picked you just click again mode and you go to custom once you have picked let's say for example you are doing chicken so we click mode once you've clicked mode you you can see it's already showing c for chicken and the temperature is already showing 38 third one is to show 38 degrees that's the temperature and 60 percent is the humidity it's supposed to be 60 so the machine is automatic it will set for you so we have to make sure that these red numbers up here have balanced the ones below there and we can always achieve that by trying to manipulate both humidity and the temperature in the system yeah so currently the 28.9 that you are seeing is the temperature for the machine and the 14 percent that you're seeing is the current humidity within the machine that one shows us that our machine temperature is already down by like nine degrees so we have to make sure that it's 38 so um, humidity as well it's supposed to be somewhere around 57 58 59 or 60. you remember this sensor that we put already when we were setting up so that we can balance easily the humidity and for the temperature we're going to use water you remember the two holes that we showed you so we have this external machine that we are supposed to use to put water into the machine so we are going to use it and this is how you fix it so you take like a liter bottle and you fix it up there and you use this tap rather this small pipe here and you pick the one of the two holes that we we saw earlier and you make sure that the pipe is at least try to make sure that water is dripping in you can look for somewhere to put your machine like for our case let's put it somewhere like here to make sure that the water itself is automatically just uh, flowing into the machine without wasting a lot of time and as you're also doing your other things automatically you're going to see the temperatures change interestingly the humidity is what we're trying to achieve and it is going to go high automatically you see now it's already at 39 and the temperature is as well is behaving it's you can see the, there are changes the machine is purely automatic it's going to balance itself once you've done the right thing provided you know what you're trying to achieve might not hold to the very end you can see everything is going up um, one thing that we may need uh, you to understand about our machine is that the material that is ma has made this machine can sustain everything provided all things are set right if you have no power it can sustain six hours of power outage provided you don't interfere with anything it should be as close as it was before the lights went off eggs should not be subjected to any interference and for six good hours the machine will still be okay but again remember it uses power dc power and ac power that is battery power and the normal electricity power so you can be sure that it will not be a big challenge you are not likely to face losses in case of power outage you see we began from 30 something in temperatures rather in uh, humidity and now we are in 48 or thereabout and within the next few minutes everything will be at point so at least you can tell that we are going to the right direction and sooner than not 
that's why you can see this alarm it's already uh, blinking once everything is set the alarm will disappear because for now it's just showing that things are not in order so don't begin to operate you rather to put your eggs and wait for things to work it might be a disastrous move and so ideally that is how you set up your your 128 eggs mini incubator and what now you can see here is four chambers incubator this is showing four compartments that hold 64 eggs each and these machines are here with us of course we supply them across the country in kenya so you can have four chamber 64 eggs each chamber machine you can have two chamber machine you can even have one chamber machine three chamber machine yeah and i think these are some of the few things that you may want to note this is how you connect your machine to battery in case power goes off so it comes with that cable there that's how as you've seen that's how you fix it and now we have this machine this um a detector of showing if your eggs are good for being incubated so after a few days ideally your eggs should be beginning to show some kind of elements of darkness something like bloody bloody uh, spots inside so this small gadget here you just need to put some batteries as you've seen you just need to fix some batteries it's just like a torch but if your that torch is not working again it comes with this machine the machine itself has an automatic chamber that's made for checking whether your eggs are okay you can see here so once you have put it on you clicking on the button that's showing the light symbol you just need to put your egg there then the machine itself will tell you that your egg is okay once you've put your egg there and it's super clear like you can just see through it's very clear like watery you can be sure that that egg is not good but if it has some kind of spotish spots or um, variegations inside there you can be sure that that egg um, is good for hatching and that is how you begin your journey to financial breakthrough using our incubator machines they are quite available we're located in machacos but again we can supply our machines across the country at affordable prices Thank you so much for watching and for any inquiry or any comment speak to us and we'll be glad to respond to you.